Hi guys, Doctor YouTube here, Tucker. I'm bringing you this because uh, Beyonce is one of the rain, one of the main reasons this shit's kicking off and people are killing each other. But you know, ignorant people don't realize that. Let's see what she has to say. Those are the guys that died. She don't care about the cops. You know she doesn't. And she, she, she's just doing it for fame, guys. She don't care about you. Yeah, she had those people killed. I'm Manila Chan in Washington, D.C. By her lyrics and what she talks this about. Evening after a week of violence across the country, first an incredible scene in Dallas, Texas last night as the downtown metro area became a war zone. Peaceful Black Lives Matter activists were marching through the streets alongside Dallas yeah, Police whatever. and Transit Authority. You're never peaceful. semi-automatic gunfire rang out. The melee caught on multiple cell phone cameras, which resulted in the deaths of five police officers. And Beyonce is this is her fault. Gunman, who was eventually she, she should be held responsible. This morning was apparently the first time that police in this country have rigged a robot with a bomb to kill a suspect. Dallas police say they used a bomb disposal robot to take out the suspected shooter, Micah Johnson, last night. It delivered a small amount of the explosive C4, typically used by SWAT teams to breach or blow open a door. Chief David Brown. Uh, negotiations broke down. We had an exchange of gunfire with the suspect. Uh, we saw no other option. It's a tactic used extremely rarely by the military and likely for the first time by U.S. law enforcement. You didn't ask Allah because he was Muslim. Disposal <laughs> robot to detonate pipe bombs found inside a suspect's van. He's killed five of your officers. So you, you have got a Scud missile and it is ready to go off. Mary Ellen O'Toole is a former FBI hostage negotiator and profile. So if the same fact pattern were to exist tomorrow, the, the uh, task force commander would have to make the same decision. Because this is essentially uncharted territory, Scott, it's raising a lot of questions about the future of robots in policing. Because about robots, we want to know. Deadly force. Police officers are understa understandably on guard all over the country now. Jerika Duncan has more on that. Authorities believe a man in Tennessee shot and wounded a police officer Thursday morning because he was, quote, troubled by recent incidents <coughs> involving police and blacks. Officers have also been targeted Georgia and Missouri since two black men were shot and killed by white officers this week. And a law enforcement official tells CBS News that social media threats towards police have been on the rise since the shootings in Dallas. Taking defensive measures, departments in several major cities, including New York, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, Boston, Washington, and Vegas, are mandating officers patrol in pairs. Susan Saunders has heard strange explosions near her Alhambra home in California day and night since February. Saunders has continued hearing the loud noises, and when her neighbors began to hear them too, the police were called. The police have received 114 calls about the strange boom since mid-February, but little has been done to solve the mystery. There are no big construction projects in the area, and even Caltech seismologists don't have an answer for the sound. Jennifer Andrews, a seismologist at Caltech, said, There's nothing seismic that I can see. What the phenomenon might be, I don't know. A seismograph will pick up waves of pressure from thunder or a helicopter, so an explanation for the Alhambra explosions is truly baffling. The booming mystery has even become a big social event, with residents texting each other or posting on Facebook when the sounds are heard. A of Syrian rebels have suffered defeat at the hands of Islamic State after they were left without any air cover from the U.S. jets, which had changed course to a different target. As a result, ISIL got hold of their advanced weapons, supposedly given to them uh, by the U.S. Party's Caleb Morgan explains what exactly happened between the U.S. and their Syrian allies on the ground. 
Obama gave them weapons. That last week, when Pentagon trained forces were in the midst of their battle with ISIL and were relying on U.S. air support, they found that support disappearing over the horizon and heading to a new target, raining their bombs down on the outskirts of the Iraqi city of Fallujah. Explaining the decision, U.S. top brass said there were only finite resources available and they needed to get their priorities right. And on this occasion, Fallujah apparently delivered, quote, the most bang for their buck. Now, this incident raises new questions about the U.S. strategy of training local forces. Washington has refused to acknowledge that the incident was even a defeat, even though it resulted in the death of U.S. trained fighters and advanced weaponry has now fallen into the hands of the ISIL terrorists. Well, I'll tell you, it's not an overwhelming defeat because the new Syrian army is still in the fight. Uh, they're still partnered with us. Uh, we're still providing them support. And whenever they go conduct another operation, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be sure to let you know. Smoke partially obscures the dome of the shrine dedicated to a 12th century Shiite religious figure. At its feet, crews help clear away rubble from a suicide attack Thursday night.